Hello there YouTube, this is just a quick update for uh, those who basically have a Thrustmaster TLC and pedal like I do. Um, just to get to the point, basically I was having some issues with the throttle. Um, there were some issues when I was driving on Gran Turismo 7 where it kept on having a problem with it cutting out and suddenly having no throttle at all. Uh, I first thought it might be to do the connector, so I just unplugged it, reset everything. Seemed to work at the time, but then eventually it was causing more regular intermittent problems. So when I researched it, I come across a channel on YouTube called uh, Exotic Drift and Race. And this guy has quite a few videos that are very helpful. So check out his channel. I'll put the link in this uh, description of this video when I post this video. But he explains it quite easily, as you can see there using compressed air that you'd use normally for cleaning PCs and electrical equipment to do it safely. Um, you do that on the sort of sensors and not too on much on the circuit board, but around the dirty areas that you're too um, too tight to get to and clean. And you don't want to use a wet cloth or anything like that or cloth around this area because the chances are you may damage the components that are very fragile. You can use things like a wet cloth or damp wet wipe, that sort of thing, around the areas. This was caked in quite a lot of residual dust and now there's some more just <laughs> motors have just uh, filtered through even though I've cleaned this about an hour or two ago so what I'll also be doing is swapping the spring from the clutch pedal which is more stiffer because I basically don't use the clutch at all I'm not driving in a manual with a with a shifter um, and swap that for the throttle just to give a bit more resistance because the throttle is becoming too easy and where I've used it a lot you, it feels a bit too weak um, so I want to swap the springs over it's very very easy to do the channel uh, he has he shows how to do it all uh, and basically follow that link description that I'll put in there just to get the full ins and outs how to do it um, Thrustmaster has around a two year warranty so you're not likely to have these issues happening within those first two years unless some other issue is causing a problem, maybe a component fail, soldering fail, that sort of thing, which is a lot more difficult to deal with and it's probably something you'd have to send back to Thrustmaster to get to sort out um, without you tinkering about. But as I've had this two and a half years, it's out of warranty. I don't want to pay Thrustmaster money and shipping just to have a look at a problem that's very easy to sort out yourself, which is basically cleaning uh, dust is obviously going to be something that affects many different products such as things like PlayStation consoles, other consoles and PCs in general. So if you're prone to having dusty room, uh, pollen during summer, pets, smoking, obviously when we play with our shoes off, maybe your shoes on even, you can have rubber coming off, your socks, you can have fluff, barefoot, you're going to have crap coming off that dropping down between the gaps and that can basically start to block the sensor so compressed air can is very useful to clear that hard to reach areas and also stops you um putting anything like a wet cloth or wet wipe etc into a fragile area so now that it seems to be fine it's kind of bugged me that i did this already and i need to kind of do it again and swap the springs over and I'm also trying to sort out my sim rig. So I've got an art cockpit sim rig here, original version. And that was difficult to mount. I mean, it doesn't fully mount this at all, even with the um, additional um, Thrustmaster TLC uh, adapter things. I mean, it's a bit of a bugger to do. So I'm trying to get a way where I can mount all four screws on there properly so it's more secure it's not less wobbly but yeah i will post some more videos on there and just a quick update the from the previous video i did about the bug on assetto corsa that's now fixed uh 505 games got back in touch with my email to start their support team and said basically to do a clear cache on your playstation 5 which i did and it works fine there's no issue with saving data or changing data on the steering wheel etc so that's all good and i've also purchased a new dlc so i'm going to try out a few um, goes on the new porsche and see if i can get some laps and some races done or something <laughs> for the future we'll be back 
in the future with some content. Take care guys, bye bye.